small protest demonstration held yesterday against government policy. Pupils from the Maria School visited by water company SWM on World Water Day. Eight German artists in Suriname and Venezuelan ambassador meets the district commissioner of Wanica. Good morning. It's time for local news. Yesterday, a protest demonstration was held against the current government policy. This took place on the square around the Human Rights Monument right across the government building. Disgruntled citizens gathered with flags and protest signs. Despite the fact that no permit was requested, the protest was tolerated by the authorities. Several speakers called on the approximately 200 participants to continue the fight against the government. Leaders from some opposition parties were also present, although they pre previously said that they will not support this protest. According to the organizers, this will not be the last one. Pupils from the Maria School got a visit from the water company SWM, also known as, also known as SWM where they were informed about the economical use of drinking water. This initiative took place in the context of World Water Day 2018, which was commemorated yesterday. Head of the Public Relations Department at the SWM, Chantal Fiend, explains that the company has deliberately chosen to make the pupils of this primary school aware about how to handle drinking water properly. This was done through a reading program, quiz games, coloring pages, films, and PowerPoint presentations. This was done through a reading program, quiz games, coloring pages, films, and PowerPoint presentations. Worldwide, people are struggling with the issues of safe and clean drinking water. Suriname can luckily praise itself with the fresh water sources it has. But if the community does not deal economically with, this, with its environment, it will have large problems. Fien calls on society to take, also take into account the dumping of bulky waste. Yesterday, a group of eight artists from Germany brought a courtesy visit to the Department of Culture. It all started in 2016 when two artists, also from Germany, visited Suriname, says Angela Salmo, board member of G Art Blog. The group was addressed by culture director Elvira Sandi on behalf of the acting minister of education, Patrick Pengel. As appreciation for what they will do the next four weeks for the community, a certificate was presented to each artist. Also, the two big initiators behind this event, Angela Salmo and George Struikelblok, received a gift. At the end of the formal part, the artists took a group photo with the staff of the Department of Culture. And completely unexpectedly, a typically Suriname song was sung, which the artists clearly enjoyed. The exhibition starts today and will last for one month. The works that will be made will remain for at least a year in Suriname for the society to enjoy. And the Venezuelan ambassador, Olga Margarita Martinez Diaz, brought a courtesy visit yesterday to the district commissioner of Wanica Southeast, Audrey Hankers. During the visit at the secretariat of the district commissioner, the ambassador showed her willingness to implement a few community, community projects for this district. Uh, I am uh, explaining to you that I am very happy to be here. And uh, uh, my thing is very, very bad. But I, I would like to uh, say, say thanks for this, uh, this uh, reception here. And uh, you explained yes. him about the, our project here. Uh, I would like that the the do the, 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 the beginning the, the 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 first one is the beginning for the children for the art classes and in October beginning the the Spanish lesson here and uh, this is the beginning to relation with the the, the, the district of Guanica and the embassy of Venezuela. 
The Venezuelan ambassador wants to bring the art and culture of her country closer to the Surinamese young people, says DC Hunkers. In October 2018, they want to start with their first project at various institutes. Collectively, artists from Suriname and Venezuela will conduct painting lessons to boys and girls from Wanica. DC Hunkers reports that there were also talks about giving Spanish lessons to the staff of the Secretariat and the local citizens. According to her, this is, good. This is a good outcome for students of the secondary schools who do not speak the language very well. Letters will be sent out to various schools in the district very soon to see how big the need is. And this conducts our local news for today. Be sure to join us Monday for a new edition. Have a great and pleasant weekend.